Parkinson's disease doesn't exist. What are some of the factors that can contribute to the development of Parkinson's? Is it primarily genetic, environmental, or is it a mix of both? Yeah, the shorter answer is that it's a mix of both. But the most important point to make here is that Parkinson's disease doesn't exist. It is a syndrome indicating mm -hmm. that it is a collection of symptoms and signs with different causes. Uh, so we, we call it Parkinson's disease because it will be too, too difficult to explain uh, what we're talking about, also because sometimes we don't know what we're talking about, but uh, uh, there are many reasons people might develop what we label as Parkinson's disease. Uh, they can be primarily, primarily genetic, especially in young onset uh, conditions. So some people might have the disease when in their, in their late 20s, for example, or for sure before age 40. And we know that the earlier the age at onset, the stronger the contribution of some genes. And we know uh, a dozen of genes that can cause Parkinson's. The later the onset of the disease, the more the effect of environmental factors from pollution to some uh, uh, chemicals used in agriculture. Uh, you know, there are a few uh, other uh, conditions that have been considered to be uh, causing or protecting uh, from the development of, of the disease. And then there is a combination of both genetics and environmental factors that uh, probably represent the, the majority of cases of Parkinson's. So in other words, someone might have a predisposition gen genetically mm -hmm. determined to be more sensitive to a particular environmental factor. And when that environmental factor is uh, met, then uh, the person develops the disease.